people with a dream, not huge financial backing, a piece of land that needed rehabilitation, no market. <laughs> and we said, we can do this. What we were taught as herbalists was that the herbs that you use in medicine should look, taste, feel, and smell as close as they did when they were growing. This is the community in which we live. It's got a lot of small farms. In fact, nobody around here is growing any commodity crops. You are out there working the earth. You know, we live in the illusion that life is safe and comfortable, and it's not. It's exhausting at times, too. I mean, it's the time when you know, you're planting all your hope and you are fingers crossed that there will be enough rain, that there'll be the right amount of sun. That's what's great about farming and I think that's why people keep doing it, is because there's nothing more satisfying than looking out at a field, freshly planted plants, and they're so vibrant and they're so hopeful. We're harvesting what we sowed, which is a lot of good dreams, and a lot of good energy, and a lot of good intention. And it's beautiful. We had to do this, even if some people thought we were crazy. <laughs>